Hey, what's up, people? Today I am gonna show you guys how you can get Remote Play version 2.0.5 on any Android device. And I know you all are curious for the Remote Play, as I have already tried it with many different steps, but was unable to get it on my phone. But after a lot of hard work, I finally have the Remote Play on on my Android phone, and I will show you how. So the first thing you need to do is to root your phone. This is the most difficult part, but you can find this different tutorials on YouTube to how to root your Android device. And let me tell you one thing. This won't work without a rooted device. So you need to, to root it. So once you have rooted your device before doing anything else, just uh, check with the root checker if your device is rooted. So there will be two links in the description box down below. One is the PS4 Remote Play and the other are four files that you need to paste to your system. So download these two links but in order to download them, you need the Mega App. So download it and after downloading the Mega App, you can download these two files. So once you have rooted your Android device and downloaded the Mega App, there is another app known as ES File Explorer. You need to download it. This is a file manager that I recommend, but you can download any that you like. So once this is downloaded, you can head open it. And after opening this, what you need to do is right in a second. So what you need to do just locate those two files using the S File Explorer the location where you downloaded it and most of the time they are in the mega folder so just open it mega downloads and extract the uh, this urpi so just hold these two files and then tap the extract button so this will take one to two seconds to extract them so yeah instantly the, that was extracted so once that is extracted open the urpi folder and system and then go to etc you will see two files there in the permissions but before pasting these files to system storage what you need to do is enable root explorer to the es file explorer like this i'm doing here because without doing this you cannot proceed so once you have enabled the root explorer for es file explorer you can proceed so then what we need to do is just head to those files that we talked earlier and we need to copy these two files from etc from the mega to the system storage like the base storage of your phone so just simply scroll all the way back like i'm doing and tap the slash button and here what you need to do is locate the system so just tap system go to the edc like i'm doing right now you can just follow my steps so you can just type etc or oh, it's at the above so just type etc go to permissions and here paste those two files that we downloaded and extracted so here we pasted them so after doing this what we need to do is there are another two files in the mega folder you can see them in the framework so also we need to copy those to the base storage so let's just head to the mega and then uh, the no, not the, this one uh, the extracted one so the extracted one go to system and here's the framework and you will see another uh, two files so just copy these two to your uh, system storage so go all the way back to the slash and here locate the system like we did earlier so here is the system so this time uh, go to framework and paste these uh, two files uh, here so once the pasting has been done, what we need to do is change some permissions to so locate those four files we have pasted. So locate the two files we just pasted in the system, etc and permissions. So let's just head to the base storage system, edc and head to the permissions and locate the two files that you just pasted here. So you need to, it could be really difficult to find them so here it is dot com com dot playstation so tap more tap properties and then you will see the permissions so uh, tap change and just check those four permissions you are seeing so uh, after checking them tap ok and you can see rwrr so you need to do the permissions to all those four files so let's just do the other one so here we go tap more tap properties tap change permissions so tap the change 
and just check those four files and uncheck all others so here is again rwrr so now we can change the properties of the files we pasted in the framework so again go to the system and here is the framework so just locate those two files again and sometimes it could be a lot difficult to find them so take a hard look so as you can see i have to relocate them again so slowly slowly com dot playstation and here we have in p so just tap them tap more tap properties and there you can change the permission again just tap those uh, for permission and just let them check and uncheck all others so here we go this one and then do the other one tap more properties again and then change and just like that rwrr so just tap these four permissions so that's done what we can do now is install the remote play so changing permission is an important step so make sure to do that so now let's just install the remote play you can use your es file explorer to install that or the file manager you have in your phone the default file manager so just locate the remote play app we had in omega we downloaded at the first step so here we have the mega go to the mega downloads and just install the remote play so this might take a few seconds so let's just wait for this so as you can see the remote play has been installed but this want to work right now what we need to do is to unroot our phone even if you have a sony device you had to unroot it so in order to unroot your phone just follow these steps so simply head to your super su app and then go to the, the settings of the super su and then locate the full unroot of your device so let's just head to the bottom and here we have the full unroot so just tap the full unroot and then tap continue so if you have a samsung device you will see another pop-up so last time when i pressed yes it completely breaked my device and and i had to install the software all over again so i recommend tapping no in the samsung but i don't know about this one much so just tap no and then you will see your device rebooting so here we go with the reboot and so let's just wait for the device for the reboot and it is unrooting the phone and then you cannot perform any root step in this phone or any root application because if you root your phone you cannot run the remote play so we have to uh, unroot our phone and then it will reboot so let me just unlock the phone. so once everything is done and set up you can now run the remote play so here we go remote play is here so let's just run this app and as you can see the app is working perfectly so let's just skip this step because we cannot connect a DualShock controller to another device so let's just tap next here it will start searching your playstation and before doing that it will ask you to sign in your psn so here i will suggest you to add the psn that you have an extra on your playstation so that when you connect using the remote play to your playstation you can access your account using the ps4 controllers and then you can play with your controller so let me just add my account and i will be back so this might take a while to search the ps4 we can just do it manually so just tap register manually and you need to get that code from your ps4 so let me show you how you can do that so just simply head to your settings of your ps4 and then you can locate for remote play connection settings and here we go remote play connection setting just tap it and the third option you will see is add device so here you will get a code you need to enter that code right here so let's just add that code here let me just write the code that is written there so here we go tab done and then tab register so it will start registering and it will start searching for the ps4 then connecting to the ps4 and then it will finally connect to your ps4 using the remote play and it is fully functional with i have a snow internet connection but it still works fine so let's just go to the home so yeah guys finally in 2017 we have the remote play fully functioning 
on our Android device while well, actually it's actually September 2017 and it's working fine I guess very few people have this remote play but you can share this video with your friends so I, as I told you earlier you can connect another account with the remote play and now I can use my controller to access my main account and as you can see I can use a dual shock for to play games on my Android device using the PS4. So yeah guys, you can tell your friends how you can do this by sharing this video. So let's just sum this up. You root your Android device, you paste four files to your system into a specific location, change their permissions, install the remote play, unroot your device and then finally run the, the remote play so this looks a lot difficult but when you practically do it it is not that much difficult so yeah guys thanks for watching give a big thumbs up to this video and subscribe down below for more videos and let me know in the comment section down below if you have any problems regarding this step so see you in the next video